Good morning everyone and welcome to Yoga with Tongs. Let's start the class with cross leg, easy seated position and do a couple circles toward the left. Inhalation forward, exhalation back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's change direction. Inhale forward, towards the right, exhale back. First comes the breath, then follows the movement. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's open up the legs in front of you. Putting plants, uh, feet on the ground. Inhalation, arms go up. Exhalation, forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Stay down here, do any twists, movements, maybe help with your hands, with your elbows, bringing your elbows between your legs and helping you getting down, lower, into the forward neck. Stay here for three, two, and one. Inhalation, sit up, bring the arms behind the back, and sit, uh, bring your legs towards your left side. So bring your knees on the ground, you can feel the hip opening up, and inhalation, bring them up. Exhalation, twist towards your right. Inhale up, exhale up. Inhale up, exhale up. The more you lean backwards, it's easier for the hip. The more upright you are, might be a bit harder. Inhale up, exhale up. Inhale up, exhale up. Inhale up, exhale up. Inhale up. Exhale back. To inhalation, let's go up into the squat. So stand up into the squat, arms in front of the chest, great position. Push your knees to the sides, arms and elbows pushing the knees and knees pushing the elbows together. So it's opposite action from side to side here in your squat. Try to bring your feet. On the ground as parallel as you can. Open up the chest, look forward or have a forward and choose your variation. Make sure you're always still aware of your body and your breath. Free well, free, feel free to practice with dry breathing during the class, like a dark weather breathing. And from here, let's go for a tabletop. So we bring our knees on the ground, arms on the ground. Cat and cow. With inhalation, open up the chest, pelvis up, look up. Exhalation, Turn the chest, pelvis forward, angry cat. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. And let's open and hold for three. Open up, close up. Two. And one. Exhalation, close and hold. Chin to the chest, pelvis forward, shoulders up. Put your feet flat, pushing into the ground, shoulders up. Two. And one. Let's go into the middle. Now let's start with the lion's breath. So, lion's breath, we inhale, chin to the chest, as an angry cat, but we're inhaling. Uh, pelvis forward, 
preparing with deep inhale and exhaling fast. <sighs> Stick your tongue out, open up the wide, eyes wide, wide, open mouth, sticking tongue out, exhaling with sound, releasing all the tension. So let's do it seven more times. Inhale. Exhale. Open up the eyes. Wide, wide, wide. Stick the out and release. Everything you want to release today. Inhale. Exhale. Six. Inhale. Prepare. Make a sound. Release. And five. Inhale. Open eyes wide or stick the tongue out, keep eating. <sighs> Three, two more. Do your best. <sighs> Imagine you're scaring your opponent just in front of you. Two, one more. And release all the fear and doubt in decision. <laughs> well done. Let's sit down into the child's pose of, after your last breath of lion. Bring your knees close to your chest, chest close to your knees, arms reaching forward. Relax. Okay, for three, one. Breath, deep inhale. Feel your belly touching your legs. Exhale, relax. Three, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale, reach the arms more forward. Bring your belly out, touching your legs. Exhalation, relax, release. Inhalation, move forward into the lower plank, plank, or completely on the bar. And let's go up our sphinx, putting our elbows on the ground, forearms on the ground. But this time, instead of having feet flat as usual on the ground, we're opening up the elbow, the knees, and bringing the legs up together, like in the floor. So, speak of arms like in the sphinx. Open chest, look forward, legs behind, together, pointing upwards. Let's take it for four. Smile, relax, just try to find a nice uh, position for your legs. Open chest, shoulders back and down. Two. And one. And let's go for a twist towards the left. Inhalation, exhale, twist. Hold it for three. Try to see your heels behind you. Two. Enjoy the Sphinx. And one. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation, twist towards your right. Open up the chest. Shoulders back and down. Look towards your legs behind you. Three, two, and one. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation, hold yourself down and around. Release the legs. Shake them if you need to. And let's go one more time up. But this time, three, three bend the legs, but instead of putting them uh, together, we roll them to the right side. Inhale up, exhale down to the left side. Open up the hips, inhale up, exhale down to the right. Inhale up, exhale down. And here, on the sphinx, we're going down on the ground, legs flat on the ground. And we go for upward facing dog or cobra. Choose your variation. 
or upward facing dog, you can kind of keep your knees on the ground or lift them up. Feet flat, shoulders back and down, open chest, look up, hold it for three, two, engage abdominal muscles, and one, exhalation, transition into the downward facing dog, walk your downward facing dog, make sure your hands are straight, neck between your arms, shoulders up, pushing away your hips up and backwards. Your neck is relaxed between your hands. Your chest is pushing towards your knees, stretching your shoulders. Feel free to lift up your heels off the ground as we're just warming up our body this Friday morning. Continue walking your dog or go for a child's pose any time during the class. If you need to have a bit more of a break, rest, reconnecting to your body, feel free to go for a child pose. Or if it's a standing pose, go for a mountain pose. One more inhale and exhaling deeper into the downward facing dog. And the next inhale, bend the knees, jump or step forward. Ah, clear. Spine parallel ground. Arms up. In the cross. Hold it for three. Two. And one. Exhalation. Right hand on the ground. Right leg bent. Left hand up. Twist. Hold it for three. Two. And one. Exhalation. Left hand down. Left leg bent. Right hand up. Twist, hold it for three, two, and one. Exhalation, forward and all the way down. Inhalation, halfway up. Spine parallel on the ground. Exhalation, forward and all the way down. Relax. Grab your elbows. Go from side to side, exploring your hips, exploring your forward. Try to open up the chest, straighten the spine, and explore your legs, your hips, your whole neck. And from here, bring your arms on the ground, or on shins, wherever you can reach. Step the left leg back, heel off the ground, facing upwards, and lift your hands up into the warrior one. Left leg straight, right leg bent, 90 degree angle. Hold the warrior work for three, two, and one. Open up the warrior two. Your left leg still straight. Put your heel on the ground, arms in a cross. Look forward towards your right hand, right knee bent, 90 degree angle. So you will make sure that you still see your toes, so you're not going over your heels. So you're Knee should be 90 degree or less above or a bit below your heels. So make sure you still see your toes. You don't go over, don't damage your knees. Open up the chest. Hips and chest facing forward. And only head turning towards the right. And let's go for a side and so left arm down, right hand down. Maybe sit a bit deeper. Open up the chest, look up. Hold it for three, two, one. Side bend towards the right. You can bring your right hand on your right knee or right hand firmly on the ground. Left hand straight, left leg straight. Hold it for three, two, one. Very good. Lift up into the warrior two. Look towards your right hand and with exhalation, arms and ground. Step back into the plank. Inhale. Exhale down into the lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stay here in the downward facing dog or go for child's 
relaxing, walking, stretching your spine, activating, pushing your hips back and up, up, and with next inhalation, bend the knees, jump or step forward, halfway up, spine parallel to the ground, exhalation, forward. Let's go for the other side. So arms on the ground or shins, right leg, step back. Inhaling, arms go up into the warrior one. Hold it for three. Try to distribute the weight equally between your legs. Two. And one. Exhalation, open up to the side, into the warrior two. Keep your left leg bent. Arms in across, hips open up to the front, chest as well, only head turning to your left. Hold it for three, two, and one. Maintain a firm gaze to the forward and side bend towards your right. Slide the right hand down the right leg, right leg a straight, left leg bent, maybe go a bit deeper. Lift up your left arm, look towards your left arm, with chest open for three, two, and one. Inhalation to the middle, and same thing for other side, side bends towards your left. You can keep your left arm right next to the left knee, or bring it down on the ground, looking up towards your right hand, chest open, straight arm, straight leg. On the right side, in one straight line, if you can. And with inhalation, stand up into the warrior two. Exhalation, arms and ground, step back into the plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower yourself down into the lower plank. Well done. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale. Down up facing dog. With inhalation, jump or step forward, halfway up. Spine parallel to the back. Exhalation, forward back. Inhalation, stand up, arms up into the mountain pose. Exhaling, move the front to the chest or to the sides. Tilt the pelvis forward, contraction of abdominal muscles, open the chest, straighten the spine. Shoulders back and down. One round of Surya Namaskara, almost the same as we did just now. With inhalation, arms go up. Exhalation, forward bend. All the way down. Relax. Inhalation, halfway up. Spine for a lovely round. Exhalation, arms are go up. Jump or step back into the lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. You can stay here in a downward facing dog or go for a twist, lifting your left leg, bending at the knee, and opening up your left knee higher up to the sky. Hold it for three, twisting your chest, looking up two, and one. Inhalation, straighten the leg, three leg dog. Exhalation, down and up. Same for the other side. Inhalation, lift your right leg up. Bend the knee, lift your right knee up. Look underneath your right armpit. Opening up the hips, straightening your arms. Three. Two. And one. Inhalation. Straighten your right leg to the leg dog. Exhalation, down on the ground into the downward facing dog. With inhalation, jump or step forward. Halfway up, spine parallel to the ground. Reach forward, activate. Exhalation, forward and all the way down. Relax. Inhalation, stand up, arms up. Exhalation, mountain pose. Down. Let's go for one round of Surya Namaskara back. Inhalation, bend the knees, chair toes, arms up, tilt the pelvis forward, open the chest. 
Exhalation, straighten the legs all the way up. All the way up. Inhalation, halfway up. Spine, a little bit around. Exhalation, arms and up. Jump or step back into the lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Feet flat, open chest, shoulders back and up. Exhalation, down on facing dog. You can use the knees for transition. With next inhalation, right leg. Step forward between arms, arms up in the warrior one. You can have a back bend here as well, opening up the chest. Exhalation, arms and round, step back into the lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhalation, left leg. Step forward between arms, bend the knee, 90 degree angle, hips forward, chest up. Warrior one, open the chest into the back bend. Exhalation, arms and round, step back, lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's stay here for three long breaths. Deep inhale into the belly. Exhale. Three, deep inhale. Exhale, try to straighten your arms, stretch the shoulders. Two, one more inhale. Hips back and down. Exhale, go as deep as you can into the downward facing dog, stretching your shoulders, legs, hamstrings, and with inhalation. Jump or step forward, half a spine, parallel to the ground. Exhalation, forward, all the way up. Inhalation, bend the knees, chair pose, arms go up. Exhalation, mountain pose. Here from the mountains, let's go for a balancing pose. So let's bring our weight on your left leg and the right leg goes up towards your chest. Hug it by the hands, knee closer to the chest, and hold it for four, three, two, one. Inhalation, open up your leg towards the right side, grabbing by the knee and looking towards your right. Optionally, you could try to grab your big toes, straighten your leg, and do the same thing for the side as well. Three, two, and one. Exhalation, grab your right leg by the ankle, knees down together. Inhalation, right hand up, left hand up, sorry, <laughs> right hand on the ankle. And option one, stay here with your left hand up. Option two, Lean forward into the dancing warrior, lifting up your right knee, right hand behind, left hand forward. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Now let's go for a half move from here. Your left hand down, right hand release, lift up, straighten your right leg. Open up the chest, open up the hip, looking upwards towards your right hand, hold it for four, three, two, one. Let's open up the hips to the ground into the warrior three. You can keep the arms in a cross for easier. So only rotating the hips towards the right side, towards the center, and also the chest, arms can be in across. Or if you want a bit more challenging, bring them forward. For three, warrior three, two, legs still parallel to the ground, and one. Exhalation, arms on the ground, standing split. Lift your left or right leg up. Hold it for three. Two and one. 
inhalation slowly with control. Stand up into the mountain pose. Put it together and check your mountain. Pelvis, pelvis tilted forward, contraction and open the muscles. Open chest, shoulders back and down. Chin tucked in, looking forward. Let's go the same thing for other side. So bring your weight on your right leg, left leg, lift up towards your chest. Hold it for four, four, open chest, three, two, and one. Well done. Open up your left leg towards the left side. You can keep holding it by your knee or you can grab your big toes and straighten your leg towards the left side and opening up the chest and turning your leg head towards your right. Hold it for three, two, and one. You can bend your leg, <laughs> keep the balance, grab it by the ankle, bring your both knees together and the leg behind the foot back. With inhalation, right hand up. Option one, stay here. Option two, move. Dancing warrior, lifting up your left knee, higher up, leg stretching backwards, right arm moving forwards. Hold it for four. Three, two, one, half moon. Bringing your right arm down and down, straightening your left leg, straightening your left arm, opening up the chest, looking up. Hold it for three, two, And one, standing split, your both arms in the front. Lift your left leg higher up. Hold it for three, two, and one. Lift up into the warrior three. Keep left leg straight, chest open, follow the run. Arms can lean across or forward. Hold it for three. Two, smile, hold the balance, and one. Inhalation, slowly, with control, return back into the mountain pose. Here from the mountain, let's open up the legs to the sides, two hip width apart. Parshvottanasana, arms behind the back, grab the elbows, or have reverse namaste. Open up towards the left side, inhaling, look up, open chest, exhalation, forward bend towards the left leg. Hold both legs straight, hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation, stand up to the middle, exhalation, open up towards your right side, both legs straight. Elbows back, open chest, hold it for two, and one. Inhalation, stand up. Arms interlace the fingers, still behind the back, just lift them up. And exhalation, forward and all the way up. Have your arms glazed above, moving back and forward, so up and forward. Hold for four, deep breath, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, three, enjoy the four, then bring the top of the head closer to your arm, separate your feet if you feel like it, two, you like it, and one, with inhalation, Stand up, vertebrae to vertebrae. Slowly keep your arms pushing upwards. Keep raising. Have a 
deep inhale up here, arms still reaching up, see? Still up. Exhale, keep them behind. Inhale. Exhalation, release the arms, shake them, relax. Let's go for Parivita Parshvakonasana. So we bend the right leg, arms in front of the chest, and do a twist. So your left elbow on your right knee, arms in front of your chest. You can lift your left heel off the ground or keep it firmly on the ground. Arms in front of your chest, twist, look up. Go over the right shoulder. Optionally, you can have a bind also behind the back. Hold here for three long breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, feel your belly touching your leg, exhale, one, inhalation, stand up like in the warrior one, exhalation, release to the middle of both legs straight, same thing for other side, Paririta Pashva Konasana, bending the left legs, Right leg straight, arms in front of the chest, great position. Right elbow close to the left knee, or maybe your right shoulder closing in on your right knee. Oh, sorry, left knee. Twist open, look up. Option one, stay here. Option two, have a bind behind the back. Hold it for four. Slowly lift up in warrior one. Exhalation to the middle. Straighten your legs. Let's bend the legs here, like in the horse stance, but with arms on your knees. Go from side to side, opening up your hips. Keep your chest open, spine straight. Just going from side to side, with knees bent. You can continue doing this or go for a full side sit down on your left leg. So right, straightening your right leg and sitting down on your left. You can lift your heel up here off the ground, maybe put the block underneath it to, or have your legs fully flat on the ground. With inhalation, sit, stand up, exhalation, sit towards your right side. Left leg straight, right leg bent, and you can use your elbows, shoulder to open up your right leg towards the right side. One more time on each side. Stand up, exhalation, sit down towards your left. Inhale up, exhale down towards the right side. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms on the ground. Open up the chest, look forward. Exhalation, separate the legs in a split. Try to bring them as separately as you can. And maybe you can even bring your forearms on the ground. Now let's stay here for five deep breaths. Inhale. We can move back and forward here. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Try to find the space. Exhale. Three. To relax. To go deeper into the posture. Inhale. Exhale. Two. And one more. Inhale. Exhalation, release, relax, get as deep as you can. With inhalation, arms on the ground. And let's sit down on the ground. You can walk your hands behind until your sitting bones touch the ground. Then arrange your legs, spread apart, 
on the edges of your mat. Let's go for one more forward. The legs separated apart. Inhalation, arms go up, reach up. Exhalation, fold. And let's hold it here for five deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, five. Try to find a space with each exhale. Inhale, hold the space, hold your ground. Exhale, four. Four. Inhale. Exhale, four. Then find a space, relax. Maybe massage your legs if you feel any tension. Relax. Three. Inhale. Or reach your hands forward, walking. Exhale, two. One more, inhale, reach forward, smile, relax, try to find a space. Exhalation, get as deep as you can, finding the most space you can find. One, well done. Let's sit up, bring the legs together into the butterfly. So open up your legs in front of you as a book. Imagine you have a book in front of you and you want to read it. So next one, we're gonna do just like that. Leaning in and reading your book. So crunch the back, round it and try to bring top of the head, forehead closer to your toes. Don't worry if you sit up here, it's perfectly fine. Intention here is to open up your hips and stretching your lower leg. Hold it for three. Your forehead, touching your toes if possible. Two. And one. Very well. Let's sit up into the seated position. And let's cross the legs. So, first you can straighten your legs, then we bend the right leg in front of you, right knee in front of you, going down, leg bend, and the left leg on top, in a cross. Try to shuffle your. Uh, knees closer to each other, so each leg is switching to the other side. With inhalation, arms go up, exhalation, forward bend. Try to forward bend, bring your chest closer to your legs, closer to your knees. Don't worry if your knees are really far apart, mine are too, they're not completely together. But if you're more flexible, try to bring them closer to each other, finding space. Hold the posture for four, three, two, and one. Inhale up. And let's go for a twist here. Inhalation, open up the chest. Exhalation, twist towards your left. Arms can be on your leg, the right arm on your right. Right arm on the left leg and left arm behind the back. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation to the middle and change the legs. My favorite way is inhaling, standing up, twisting, exhaling, sitting down. So now the left leg is down in front of you, bend, and your right leg is on top of the left. Bring your knees close to each other, find the space. Play around till you find your nice seated position. Open up the chest, arms go up, inhaling, exhalation, forward and all the way down. Relax. Now let's stay here for four deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, relax, forward. Inhale, exhale, relax, try to find the space, maybe your sitting bones get closer to the ground, maybe your knees, three, inhale, exhale, pay attention to your breath, concentrate on your breathing, exhale, two, one more, inhale, hold the position, exhale, fall forward, Find a space, 
Relax into the one. Inhalation, sit up. Keep the legs in the same position. Let's go for a twist towards the right. Left hand on top of the right knee, right hand behind the back, close to the ceiling walls. Twist towards the right. Looking over your right shoulder, open chest, straight spine, hold it for three, two, and one. Very well. Return to the middle. Straighten your legs in front of you. Shake them. Relax. Let's go for Dandasana. We haven't done Dandasana for a while. So Dandasana is straight legs, active. Your toes pointing upwards, arms next to the side. Open chest, straight spine. Option one, stay here in Dandasana. Option two, lift the butt off the ground like in an L sit. Option three, lift your legs off the ground as well into the else so then asana or else or anything in between open the chest straight spine look for three two and one relax release and circle your wrists still the chest open activate your legs like in dandasana Okay, next one. We go for Paschimottanasana, forward. With inhalation, arms go up. Exhalation, forward. Try to maintain your spine straight, chest open, leaning into your legs. Hold here for three long breath. Inhale, activate your legs. Exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale, two, deeper into the forehead. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhalation, sit up. Now let's go for Marichyasana side. Bend your right leg towards your chest, right hand behind the back. Inhalation, left arm up. Exhalation, twist towards your right. You can keep here or have a bind behind the back. Hold it for three long breath. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Each exhalation. Try to twist a bit more. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhalation. The middle, relax, shake legs. Good morning, Lenka. And let's go for the other side with inhalation. Bring your left leg towards the chest, left arm behind the back. With inhalation, right hand up, exhalation, twist towards your left. Try to breathe deeply into the belly. Option one, stay here, wave the camera or have a bind behind the back. Looking over your left shoulder towards your left. Make sure your right leg is still active, toes pointing upwards. Inhale. Exhale. Twist deeper. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale, one. With inhalation, return to the middle. Relax, shake the legs. And let's go for Navasana. So, lift up your legs, arms parallel to the ground. You can hold the legs parallel to the ground, arms right next to them, or use the arms for support. Or you can straighten your legs and lift them as high as you can. And stay here for five deep breaths. Any time, if you're not able to hold completely with the support of the arms, in order to make it till the very end of Navasana, use your arms for support. Let's inhale, open the chest, straighten the spine, exhale, five, 
e or pay attention to your breathing inhale and try to slow it down exhale three inhale exhale two one more inhale you can do it exhalation arms on the ground cross the legs lift the butt off the ground put put the deep all the floor three or optionally, straighten your legs in a L sit. You can keep your legs off the ground as well, or bring them down. Two and one. Second of three rounds of Navasana. Arms in position. Now let's call it for four. Long breath. Inhale. Deeply into the belly. Open up the chest. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Don't worry if your legs start shaking a bit. That's perfectly fine. Exhale. Three. That's anxious, anxiety. Inhale. And welcoming the strength. Exhale. Two. It's like a dog weaving his tail into the joy of seeing his owner coming back from the walk. Exhale. Two. Cross the legs, arms on the ground, lift the butt, the ground, hold it for three, two, and one, third and final round of Navasana. Only three deep breath. Let's go for it. Inhale. Feel your belly, feel your chest, open up the chest. Exhale, three. Feel proud of yourself. Inhale. Go long way. Exhale. Two. Congratulate yourself for making it so far in your life. Exhale. One. Cross the legs, arms and ground. Lift your butt off the ground. Hold it for three. Two. And one. Relax, release on the ground, bend your legs, and let's roll ourselves down on the ground into Seto Bandhasana. So, bring your legs closer to the sitting bones. Inhalation, lift your pelvis up. Interlace your fingers, shuffle your shoulders closer to each other. Open up your chest, lift the pelvis up. You can hold it here or lift your right leg straight up. Hold it for three. Two, smile, enjoy the practice. One, slowly, with control, bring your right leg back. With inhalation, open up the chest. Exhale, hold. You can continue holding or lift your left leg up. Hold it for three. Try to straighten it as much as you can. Two, and one. Well done, slowly, with control, bring your left leg down. With inhalation, open up the chest a bit more. Lift the pelvis up. Exhalation, slowly, with control, lower yourself on the ground. You can go for one more round of Seto Bandhasana, or go for Urdhva Dhanurasana, the bridge. Circle your wrists if you want to go going for the bridge to warm up and loosen up your wrists. Get your hands in position and get ready for five deep breaths. Either Urdhva Dhanurasana or Sekhu Pantasana. Either the position we just did or the bridge I'm doing now. Inhale. Open up the chest. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Exhale. Or engage the core, abdominal muscles in. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more inhale. Very well. Exhale, slowly. With control. 
control. Roll yourself on the ground. Hug your knees. Relax any tension you might have in your lower back. Your knees closer to the chest. You can rock side to side. Or if you wish to play a bit more around, you can roll back and forwards, make a 360 degree turn. Try to do it with 6 to 10 rolls back and forward. From here, bring your left leg on top of the right knee and grab the right knee with your hands, opening up your left hip. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation, release the leg and switch to the other side. So bring your left ankle, so right ankle on the left knee, grab your left knee and bring it closer to your chest, opening your right hip, right leg, going to the side, hold it for three, two, and one, Very well, release the legs, shake them off. Let's go for shoulder stand. With inhalation, lift your legs up. Option one, stay here. Practice inversion, letting your blood drain from the legs. Or option two, lift up. Bring your hips over the head, on the air, legs up. Use your arms for support of your back. Shuffle your elbows closer to each other. Try to maintain the straight line here. So most of the people go for pitta tower instead of a shoulder stand. For the beginners, it's okay. Just be aware that you're in a pitta tower and try to straighten it out. I remember when I was starting my shoulder stands, I was always in a pitta tower and I could maybe stay straight for a split second or a couple of seconds and then I would go for pizza tower instead so I could actually keep the position for longer so I keep the benefits of inversion so if that's the case for you don't worry if you're not able to straight the whole straight line perpendicular to the ground all the time practice makes perfect so keep showing up every day Keep training and show your body what's important for you and what you want to practice, what you want to do with your body. Let's take one more deep inhale. Feeling your belly, feeling your chest. Exhalation, bring your legs over the head, down and into Halasana. If you can, try to release your arms as well on the ground. Relax and smile. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation, slowly with control. Sit up into the cross leg position. Bring the arms behind the back, interlace them, open up the chest, look up. Exhalation forward and into yoga mood. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation, sit up, open up the chest, keep arms reaching upwards, exhalation, release. Well done. So now we're going for the most important part of the practice, Savasana. So make sure you put enough effort into this part of the practice, concentrating and relaxing. Setting up the timer for the last five minutes of the class. It's only five minutes. So, once you get down on the ground, try to bring your lower back as flat as possible, relax, 
your whole body. Separate the feet, hip width apart, left and loose. Bring your shoulders down. Separate arms with palms facing upwards. Tuck your chin slightly in. And close the eyes, relax. Relax all the muscles in your body, releasing any tension, stress, control completely. Imagine you have nice cream in a hot summer day, melting, dripping down to the ground. So down with your physical body relaxed. Start paying attention to your breath. The attention here is not to control, just to observe and notice all the small details concerning the breath. Just observe and try not to engage. All the brilliant ideas rushing through your head, begging for attention. Notice them, promise them to return, let them to spend after the class, or tell them to go three blocks farther away. Oh, and continue focusing on the other. Enjoy. The silence of the Attention back to your body, start moving the fingers and toes. Gradually, 
have a stretch here. Bend your knees and roll on the right side of your body. Stay here for longer, relaxing. And whenever you're ready, sit up into the easy seated position. Cross legs. Open up the chest, straighten the spine, arms and knees. And observe your body. Notice how you feel after the yoga class. Observe your emotions. Observe your thinking, your thoughts rushing. Express gratitude towards yourself for all the things you have and the possibility for you to find the time during the day to practice yoga for yourself. And let's finish the class chanting mantra Om, which consists of three sounds A, O, and E. Breathing, action. Bring the arms above the head. Into a prey position. Exhalation, bring it down in front of the chest. Inhalation, take a deep breath in. Thank you very much for joining me for these classes. Hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. If you find any value in my classes, feel free to like, share, and comment your experience in the comments. Also, feel free to find out more about things I can offer on the link in the description. With that said, I wish you a nice day. Remember to smile give a positive feedback loop for your body to feel nice and be present. See you in the next one.